Since Utah's the happiest place, I figured I'd just, you know, keep smiling. I'm, I'm going to smile the whole time since we are the happiest place in the country. Now, my question is, why is it when we do the Sportsman Expo that both you and Nineveh, Carrie, are working the desk? What, that is, is it just, are you hoping to see, like, manly men? Is, is, that, is, that, is this me, or, or am I feeling the vibe here? No, no, I'm just saying... It, it, it does make sense if Kirk and Dan were here, but I'm thinking that maybe you guys are there because you want to see some strapping young men, maybe a Gaston. I, I don't know. Maybe, well, I don't know why you guys are, you know, I'm just, I'm just asking. Yeah. So, this is, this is what I'm going to do. I want to hook you up with some skills because when you go out camping and you go out to the outdoors, I want to make sure you at least look like you know what you're doing. So, we're going to cover some archery. We're going to cover some Dutch oven cooking. There's all kinds of stuff. The show, open opens, the show opens today at noon. So if, if, you, if you're done watching after the show, you can always come down and mingle with the outdoorsmen if you want. Okay? I got the hookup. Every time, but every time you guys come out, I want to see you smiling. Not just because Utah's the happiest place in America, but because you're happy about Sportsman Expo. See? Just, just, just like that. Yeah. And, and I know you guys do that anyway because I hear, I hear you and Carrie talk about me in the uh, this way. That, I hate, I just hate Buddha the way he just looks like that. Yeah. Hi, Buddha. I can just, I don't understand why he does that. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so we come back right there. There's the range. We're going to learn how to shoot a bow and arrow. That's happening next, live on the Sportsman Expo. Bye, guys. Um, so, you have to pay anything extra to shoot at the art for you once you get your But anybody can come in and try it just for fun. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. But the tournament's going to be The tournament's going to be us. We're giving away four bows. They go around the way. And so, at $3,400, well, $3,400, so $850 a bow. So, you can come down and try it. Yeah. 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 Talk about the world championships and how they qualify and that kind of stuff. And then they can't, well, you give me a simple recipe that anybody can do at home. Love the matching gloves. Thank you. I didn't get any message. We'll eat it up. Are they, are, do they have the Bears right now, the Cubs? Yeah, they're, they're actually going to be joining us in the 8 o'clock hour, and it's actually... This whole theme is, is about bears. If you look over here, we got Big Brother Bear. Yeah. Over here, we got Papa Bear. And Fat Bear. See, I mean, that, this is just a whole bear show. You guys got baby bear cubs in the studio. That's great. I mean, you know, we want to keep the theme tied in. So, uh, if you saw the, the logo, my man, Rachel, right there, IDOS, that's International Dutch Oven Society. Now, something really cool that's happening here at the Sportsman Expo. You're not kidding, right? This is the World Championship Dutch Oven Cook-Off? World Championship Cook-Off, yes. How many teams, uh, who's going to come, where are they from? I've got teams from all over. I've got teams from Canada, Idaho, Utah. A lot of them are centrally located. Canada? I've got teams from Canada <laughs> coming down. It's kind of great. There are members in Australia. There's members in Japan. We've got members from all over. That's crazy. That's no, no. Crazy. Correct me if I'm wrong. Isn't Utah the supposedly capital of Dutch Oven Cook-Off? There's a large population of Dutch Oven Cook-Off here in Utah. Yes, sir. All right. So, People come down, do you have to pay anything extra to check out the semifinals? What's, what, what's the breakdown? The championship going to be today? The championship is here today. It'll be held in the corner of the ISC show. The only You do have to pay the entrance fee to get into the ISC show, but there's no fee to watch us at all. Okay. Uh, how many rounds before you get to the final champion? Will it be crowned on Saturday? 
Yes, sir. We've got semifinals today. There will be five teams from today move on to Saturday, five teams from tomorrow move on to Saturday. Those ten will compete against the last year's champs from Idaho, so there will be 11 teams at the finals this Saturday. How many teams in Utah? I want, I, want, I want to try to steal that championship back, bring it home where it belongs. Probably half our teams are from Utah. We have about eight, seven or eight teams here locally. The rest right. of them are spread out. I'm, I'm sure you get this asked all the time. Uh, do you have a preference in charcoal? Is it any charcoal, anything that's hot? What's something good uh, to give people at home a tip on what they're going to use for Dutch oven? Well, Kingsford seems to be a really popular brand. It seems to be more stable that people use it. Once you have something that you like, you want to stick with it. If you do find an off-brand that you like, just stick with it too. Down All right, great. Thanks a lot. Yep. Uh, this is uh, Kent, the president of the International Dutch Oven Society. So, let's let's have people up at home with a simple recipe of something you can do. What, what's what's one of your favorites? Uh, this one's a cinnamon roll. Just get some frozen rolled cinnamon roll, let them thaw out, and just cut them. Just cut them up like that. Throw them in the pot. Put the lid on. Put the coals on okay. top. Let's, let's put the lid on over there. Grab that lid. Let's, let's, yeah, grab that lid. Let's put it on. See, right now it's, it's not hot, so you touch it with your hands. Right. Now, how many coals do you put on? What's the temperature you want it to be at? You want this to be about 350. So the way you do that is you take the diameter of the oven, back to three, that puts nine on the bottom, and then you put 50, you add three to the top, 15 on the top, and get about 325 to 350. You need to heat it up a little bit, put four on the bottom, put top on the four on the bottom. Get, can I just get your yeah. cell phone so I can call? That is yeah. just like, I don't... Divide, subtract, <laughs> square. I just want to cut. Kent, how many coals do I need to put on the top? And the, can I just give that? You know, if you just want to just put some coals on there, put some on the bottom, give me five. <laughs> All right. So we saw the before. Open it up. Let's see the before one more time. There's the before, and here's the after right there. Booyah! That's how you do it. Anybody can do it. When you come out to the Southtown uh, Expo Center uh, and you're going to check out the uh, Sportsman Expo, this is where you want to come and check out the world champion. Utah, let's bring it back home. We come back, we got so much more happening here. Kerry, Nineveh, back to you in the studio. Bye, guys.